Hello, welcome. This is One India News, and I am Akash. The pace with which the Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi is hopping from one Hindu temple to another as a part of the Gujarat Assembly elections campaign would even leave a die-hard pilgrim tired. But Rahul is hardly exhausted. Every time he visits a temple, he bows his head in obedience in front of a Hindu deity. He smiles from ear to ear for the camera persons. As soon as the priest overlooking the temple smears his forehead with the tilak, Rahul already flaunting garland and saffron looks no less than a RSS karikarta. It is this metaphorism of Rahul which is causing tremors in the camp of the BJP. A rough estimate has put Rahul's temple visits close to 11 in pole-bound Gujarat. In all fairness, the right-wing ruling party should have welcomed Rahul's pilgrimage in Gujarat. After all, a man whom the BGP accused of viewing the country wearing a pair of Italian goggles has literally turned into a mascot of soft Hindutva. On the contrary, the BGP is mighty miffed with Rahul for copying their stunts. Right from Madhya Pradesh CM Shivraj Singh Chauhan to Uttar Pradesh CM Yogi Adityanath, several top leaders of the BGP have attacked the Congress Vice President for trying to woo Hindu voters by showing reverence to the religion practiced by majority of Indians. BJP is feeling the heat as Rahul looks undeterred in spite of all the criticism and the gleeful continuing with his temple yatra. The Saffron Party is so irked with Rahul's newfound love with the Hindu religion that it has asked the Congress to shed its pseudo-secularism and respect mainstream Hindutva. Most of the observers are reading Rahul's temple visit as an attempt to project Congress often accused of engaging in Muslim appeasement as a pro-Hindu party in a state that is under the rule of the BJP for more than two decades. However, there's more to Rahul's temple darshan than meets the eye. Actually, the Congress vice president is drowning. And if he does not make an impact in Gujarat poll by reducing the BJP's vote share and the seat number in the assembly, his elevation to the Congress's top post would once again be delayed. Rahul truly needs God's blessing to survive in politics and if that God happens to be a Hindu one, there is nothing wrong in that. Well, that's all for now but for more news and updates, log on to oneindia.com and please don't forget to like and share this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to One India News channel.